I would now like to invite the baptismal family forward. Our Lord Jesus Christ commanded his disciples, saying, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always even to the end of the age. God's covenant promises are extended to everyone, including our children. Hear also these words of scripture. This promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls, obeying Christ's command, and trusting his promises, we baptize those whom God has called. Friends, let us remember with joy our baptisms as we celebrate the sacrament. In baptism, we respond to God's gracious promises with our faithful response. Because Hugh is a baby, his parents, his family, his friends, and we, his congregation, make promises on his behalf. So I invite you to respond to these questions. Do you desire for your child to be baptized? We do. Turning to God's gracious mercy, do you turn away from sin and renounce evil and its power in the world, do you? We do. Do you confess Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior and do you trust in him, do you? We do. Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith and to teach that faith to your child? Do you, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture this child, encouraging him to know and follow Christ, and to be a faithful member of his church? Do you? Let us pray together. <clears throat> Ever faithful God, we give you thanks for the gift of water. In the beginning, your spirit moved over the water, creating order and life. In the water of the Jordan, our Lord was baptized and anointed by your spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, we've been set free from sin and delivered from death to everlasting life. Send your spirit to move over this water that in it we might be created anew. Embrace your child, wash away their sin, raise them to new life, and graft them to the body of Christ. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon him that they may have the power to do your will and follow in your way. For it is in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. Joseph and Jackie Hankins present their son for baptism. Do you see that? Come here, come here, buddy. Look here. Look at the water. Come here, look. He's cute. Look here. Look at the water. After this. What is the Christian name of this child? Hugh right Joseph. Okay. Hugh Joseph, child of the covenant. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the blessings of God Almighty descend upon your heart and dwell there this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs> you, you are a beloved child of God, and God loves you and will watch over you all of your life. So live your life in the sure knowledge that God will always care for you. To God be the glory. Amen. On behalf of the children of the church, I present this Bible to Hugh, that he may grow in God's grace. Can I take it over now? Yeah. No, wait, 
Let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you that in baptism you have claimed us as your own, freed us from sin and death, and joined us to Christ's ministry of love, peace, and justice. We pray that through us and all your church, you will hold you in your love. Guide him as he grows in faith and protect him in all dangers and temptations that he might one day confirm the promises that we have made on his behalf, confessing his own faith in Jesus Christ and living a life of faithful discipleship. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen.